Hello YouTubers and uh, this is a video of the MacBook Pro 13 inch um, I've had it for about maybe a month and a half maybe two months by now um, it's been extremely amazing I this is actually my first Mac I switched from PC to Mac and I couldn't be any more happier with it um, I've completely been just Macified <laughs> I guess you could say well First of all, I must say this is a really thin device for, you know, I've had a PC, um, many PC laptops and desktops and everything, and I must say those compared to this are completely just bulky and uh, very sluggish and hard to carry, actually. And this, ever since I've got it, you know, it's just pick up and go kind of thing. I, I carry it everywhere, and wherever I'm at, you will find my Mac with me. And I like how they have all the ports that you need right here on your left hand side, like your uh, audio in and out, your uh, SD card slot, two USB ports, mini display port, firewire, and Ethernet, and then power, which is very nice. Um, I wish they'd throw in like HDMI so I could hook up to my HDTV. But one thing that I had no idea about when I first bought it was um, this cool little battery thing, kind of like those Energizer batteries to tell you how much battery is left in it it um, completely just tells you without you even having to open your laptop and look at the charge percentage <laughs> nice Apple logo on all Apple things the right hand side is kind of barren and empty except for the super drive which takes up half of the right hand side of the laptop anyhow and then some people call that a Keniston lock or something like that I don't know what it is I don't know what that means necessarily and then the front they got the little sleep thing that you can't see unless if it's on and um, some kind of black line looking thing don't know what that is either anyways um, I shut it down so I could do a startup test and show you how fast it works it's uh, got four gigabytes of RAM it's got a 2.4 gigahertz processor and it came with um, 250 gigabyte hard drive but I upgraded that later on about maybe a month ago into a 500 gigabyte hard drive um, running at 4 5400 RPM so maybe later I'll go to the 7200 RPM to see if it opens my applications faster and such but for now since I'm a little low on funds the 5400 will have to do Okay, here we go. Alright, that's my uh, own custom wallpaper. Got it the other day. Found it on, uh, just searched up on Google. Um, awesome Mac OS X wallpapers and people have created a bunch of cool ones. And uh, there's my dock with all of my icons. Let's see if I can get a good lighting on it. Yeah, that's a little better, I guess. Alright, so let's open up an application. Um, iTunes. Alright, it opened up pretty fast, I don't know, maybe about five or six seconds of a wait, and then you're in the Apple iTunes store. Alright, let's go ahead and exit out of that, and open up uh, something that everybody uses everyday life. Um, we'll use Safari instead of Google Chrome, just because that's what comes on the machine. And that comes up... Mm, one second for the application to open, two seconds for the web page to load. That's Google though, so that doesn't really have much JavaScript to load. Um, load something like MySpace, even though nobody likes to use MySpace. That's got 
a lot of JavaScript on it. Took about two seconds, maybe three. Still partially, about four seconds to load it completely. Harry Potter 7, part one. Awesome movie. I saw it the first day it came out. It's a great movie. I recommend you go see it, even if you don't like Harry Potter. It's got some awesome special effects, and you get to see Hermione halfway naked, so that's pretty good. Um, let's see. Go up here. Secondary click, info. I've got all my music, all my videos, all my movies. Tons of applications including Photoshop, Microsoft Office, iWork, iLife 11. Tons of great software. And I've only taken up 107 gigabytes on my hard drive, and I still got 392 left to slay. So, 500 gigabytes is great on a MacBook. Especially since um, Mac OS Snow Leopard takes away about 8 gigabytes. If you're running uh, Leopard right now and you upgrade, it'll take 8 gigabytes um, off your hard drive and completely just free that space up. I don't know how, because it's a pretty big upgrade. And you figure if an upgrade is like, you know, upgrading crap, crappier software or operating systems, you would think it would take more space, but really, it's cleared. It clears about 8 gigabytes for you, and it's way better. Um, Alright. I think that's all that I will show you for now. Maybe later I'll open up some iLife um, programs and show you how those work and uh, show you how to do some cool things on there and uh, speed test on iWork and iLife and toast and all that other good stuff alright thank you for watching subscribe and all that other good stuff alright see you later